Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for today's video. We're gonna be doing some fun orange bright Halloween nails. I'm gonna be doing Frenchies on my first index finger. So we're starting off with light sand from Not Polish. Along with that, I'm using their acrylic brush in a size 12. And then for my monomer, I am using the Kiara Sky monomer. So I am gonna be doing the reverse method for a smile line or a Frenchie nail. And that is essentially where you are going to create the smile line in pink or your nude color that you're using. And then you infill the rest of the nail. Typically a lot of nail techs do where they do the white color, whatever color they're using on the tip. But I prefer this method because it's a lot easier for me and you can make it a lot more crisp in my opinion. So I start off by just applying a medium sized bead of acrylic and I'm gonna go ahead and fully sculpt that out into the shape that I want. I like a deeper almond shaped Frenchie. So that's pretty much what I did. I used the tip of my brush and really carved it out. And then I infilled the rest of that, holding the finger downwards and building everything out. Again, a good sized bead of acrylic and I'm going to start in the middle section of the nail and you see me just simply patting it down into like an oval shape. And then I'm using the tip of my brush and the belly of my brush to do the work for me. So I'm pushing it up into that shape that I want, flattening up the surface. And then I pretty much just tuck, blend, and kind of carve everything out carefully with the tip of my brush. And this all takes practice, but the cool part about this type of method is that once it dries, you can always go in and really shape it out with a hand file. I always skip that step because I feel like it looks good for my liking, but you can definitely get it extremely, extremely crisp if that's the look that you're wanting. Next, I'm just gonna be infilling the rest of that top portion with acrylic, and I'm making sure that, again, I'm carving out that smile line with the tip of my brush. We're infilling that cuticle area, holding the finger down, letting the product flow downwards towards the tip, and then just very easily blending it out. Now, for the middle finger and ring finger, I'm gonna be using that same light sand color, and we're just going to be doing a full nail of that absolutely love this color i didn't shake my bottle so it is kind of marbleizing on the nail but once i blend everything out it looks completely fine but if you do notice that a lot of your colors are kind of separating in the pigment just give it a good shake or you could just focus on blending it out like i do but it's like a nudish pink color so i absolutely love this color for a good nude that is very versatile for all skin tones so definitely recommend this color but I'm using a pretty large bead because I wanted to make it nice and thick. And then I blended that all the way downwards towards the tip. Now we're gonna be focusing on that middle section. I used a small bead and then I'm just blending that out. And then I'm gonna be taking another bead of acrylic. Also, I would say a small bead. And then I'm pushing up towards that cuticle and then blending it downwards. Once I get the cuticle down, I know a lot of y'all try to like blend it out and then focus on the cuticle, definitely recommend. Focus on that cuticle area first, make it nice and round and flush, and then you can go ahead and blend it downwards. Same process on that ring finger, we're gonna fully cover that nail with the same acrylic. Next for the Frenchie on my index finger, we're gonna be taking Last Love from Not Polish and applying that to the rest of the nail. It is such a beautiful orange color. 
I absolutely love it. Definitely recommend it for the summer. And as you can see, using it in the fall is essential as well. So I'm just gonna be infilling the rest of that nail with that orange color. If I do overlap, you'll see me like here, carve that out and I'm pretty much just cleaning it off of the surface of my nail. Yes, you can always file it off, but I like to just pre-clean things off. That way my filing is a lot more minimal and I already have pretty much the shape that I want for this nail already made once I'm done and I don't have to overfile. So that's just my process. You can always overlap it if you want a crisper look. Again, just my preference. Next for the pinky nail, and I actually did it on the thumb as well, we're gonna be doing a very small black ombre. So I'm focusing on doing a thin layer of that right up against our smile line. And then I'm just gonna gently pat it downwards to kind of ombre it slightly. I'm not doing a crazy amount of ombre just because I'm gonna be layering on some glitter and it's going to pretty much minimize the line of the black, you're not gonna be able to see it. But I am going ahead and doing that again on the thumbnail and I'm using a very wet bead when I do this so that it allows me to really blend it out easier and then if I wanna darken up any area, I can go back in and make it a little bit more opaque. Now I'm gonna go in with some clear acrylic. This is gonna work as our base to stick our glitter on there. I'm using this glitter mix from Profiles Backstage. They're like chunky little bats and I love the color combo. So I'm going to be applying that on the clear portion of the nail. Again, thin layer of clear. We're gonna be using that to stick it on there. And to pick up my bats, I simply just have a wet brush and I dip it into my little pot of glitter. And then I place it on there and then you layer on more clear to stick it into place if you feel like it's moving around. But once you have that clear acrylic wet under there, it should stick just fine. I'm gonna be going in and encapsulating these two nails, simply using a thin layer of clear acrylic to fully cover that glitter first. And I like to really, really press it in. And then I go in with my bulk acrylic to build up that thickness that I actually need and want. Now I did do the pop-off method for these nails, so I'm gonna be extra careful. A little too much pulling and tugging will definitely pop these off, so I'm only gonna be filing with my e-file right at the cuticle to blend that nicely into my natural nail. And then I'm gonna be hand filing. I feel like I'm just a lot more stable with my hand file, so I'm able to like grasp it properly and file it and it's just a lot easier in my opinion. So I'm gonna switch over once I'm done with that cuticle area. I am using my e-file at about 10,000 RPMs. And for my bit, I'm using the five in one bit from Kiara Sky. Those are my freaking favorite. I feel like I mention it every single one of my videos, but they really are good. And if you want something skinnier at the tip, their pro five in one bit is also a really good option to look into. So I'm just gonna go ahead and f finish filing that, then we're switching over to our hand file. Taking my hand file, I'm gonna be filing those sides very, very carefully. You see me really trying to hold that nail on there and not move it a crazy amount. Again, because I don't want the nail to pop off, but honestly, now from me doing a pop-off method, with acrylic, I feel like it does stay on there really, really well until you're ready to take it off. Now, when I do it with gel nails or tips, I do feel like I cannot file it at all afterwards, otherwise they will pop off. So I'm just still going to be extra careful because I'm so scared that it's gonna pop off and then it's just not gonna look right if I have to reapply it onto my fingernail. So we're focusing on those sides, making sure it's nice and crisp and then I'm gonna file that surface of the nail making sure everything is nice and smooth and then making that tip nice and crisp.
Next, I'm gonna be taking a lint-free wipe and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe, cleaning the surface of that nail, making sure everything is nice, clean, and dust-free for our nail art application. Now for our nail art, I'm gonna be taking the short liner from Vita Bella along with their black gel paint. We're gonna be doing like a cow print slash ghost design. I thought it was so cute. I saw the print on a shirt recently online and I was like, that is so adorable. Let's add that on some nails. So we're doing little splotches for the cow print and then I'm gonna be doing little ghosts in black as well so that it kind of just all blends in together. I'm doing a little bit of like a skinnier ghost type of vibe and then adding some little arms. And once we're done with that, we're gonna be curing in the light for a full 60 seconds. Always make sure you're curing for a full 60 seconds, especially when using very thick or dark gels. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off and then we're gonna be going in with white gel paint from Vita Bella and adding the tiny little eyeballs and mouth to these ghosts. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Just Orange Gel Polish from Vita Bella, and I'm going to be outlining the nails that I did Frenchies on. I freaking love this design. And it's so funny because I'm pretty sure that I did something extremely similar last year for the Halloween season, but in pink. When I did it, it really reminded me of that set, and I was like, no wonder I liked it because I've already done it before. So for this now, we're doing Blossom Gel, as y'all can see. Again, taking that Just Orange from Vita Bella. This time I'm taking Black Gel Polish, which is unreleased also from Vita Bella, and I'm just gonna be doing little lines. And it ended up blossoming so pretty, y'all will see here at the end. Next, make sure you wipe those sides and cure in the light for a full 60 seconds. Now I'm gonna be taking that same orange color, and we're gonna be doing a little pumpkin. And I'm just taking the actual applicator that comes with the gel polish bottle and applying that. Just makes it so much easier and a little bit quicker. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna be curing in the light, switching over to our black gel paint and small liner again. I'm gonna be outlining and adding all the little details to our very simple pumpkin. So if you've ever struggled with pumpkins, fear no more, it is super, super easy. It's a definite simple version of a pumpkin, but it's very easy to create. Next, I'm doing the little stem, and then I'm gonna be adding a bunch of little nail art as well on that same nail with white gel paint. We're gonna be doing a little ghost, and then I'm adding the little eyeballs, or the eye holes, and the mouth as well. I ended up topping these with Matte It from Not Polish, and of course, curing in the light for a full 60 seconds in between layers and a good final 60 second cure at the end as well. That pretty much concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton and I'll see you guys next time.